thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Welcome everybody, this is Amy. Today I'm going to show you just a quick rose pattern that I'm going to paint on this uh, small pillar candle. And just something I've had around my house. Getting into painting candles again, so I thought I would do another quick video. People seem to like those. If you have any ideas of items or designs that you'd like to have painted, let me know down below in the comments and I will try to do those as soon as I can. So today again we're just going to start with this candle and I'm just using a number 12 flat brush. It's a plaid one stroke brush. Simple two colors of paint, warm white and my gold which is a metallic so I'm just using, I was going to put some green into it and I thought, you know, I'm not going to. I think it's pretty just using the gold and the, the warm white. So I'm going to go ahead and multi-load, or I should say double load, my brush. And this is about how I do it. Again, I'm not real strict on that, so it should be basically 75% of the bristle is covered with paint or three quarters of the way. Um, I do whatever I'm comfortable with and that's what you should do as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I've cleaned this off with rubbing alcohol. Did not put any type of medium on this particular candle. I did try the Mod Podge on my last one and it was fine. I just think if you don't handle them a lot they'll be fine whether you put a medium on it or not. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is my signature rose that I typically paint on my wedding dress hangers. So why we we're here working on this. I if you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. And at the end, if you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. I apologize for the noise in the background. That is my air conditioner. Yes, unfortunately, we're still in the need of air conditioning here in Ohio as it was supposed to be 90 degrees today. I'm not sure if we got that high. Definitely is warm out. I'm ready for this, the fall weather. I think most of us around here are too, but you get what you get, right? And soon enough it's going to be cold, so we'll try to be happy with what we have. Alright. Now, just for the purpose of the video, I am just painting the front of this candle. I have a problem sticking my fingers into my painted work, so if I were to paint this as actual part of my home decor, I would paint all around it. I think that's just very pretty, but you can do just you know simple designs if you want. All right, again, that's just my little signature rose. If you want to do a few little. Uh, little buds, you can put those up in here, even a little one down here. And I might do one over here. Doesn't have to be the same on each side, but you get the gist, right? Alright, so then what I'm going to do, use the same colors for my my leaves. I'm just going to do my little leaves around this partially, or petal I guess, or not petal, but bud. Do the same thing up here. Come around like that, come up. And if you feel you want to have more gold in it, and you can turn it and get that gold look going up in it whatever you desire. Alright. 
That's a definitely a very easy pattern. Alright, so then I'm just going to throw in some of my very easy ruffly leaves. And I am placing the gold on the outside. The flower has the lighter color on the outside. This way I'm doing the opposite. And just look how pretty that is. I mean, you could do it with browns. I was trying to think of a, a fall flower. And then I got to thinking, you know, I've already done a, a sunflower. I don't know that that's actually a fall flower, but I already did a sunflower, so didn't really want to do that again. So I just did that recently. And, you know, you do mums, of course, if you wanted to. But then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do the golden white. It's pretty. It'll look pretty on the orange. And then we can just go from there with it. And again, you can always add more flowers, different flowers. You don't have to just use single. I typically you know, just am trying to teach you to paint one, one flower or one type of flower at a time. But you can do more if you wish. All right, and then I would put in some what I call filler flowers or filler leaves, excuse me. Filler leaves. And I'm just going to put a little stem through it, a little stem through it like that. But look how pretty that is. Just a simple, simple uh, design can really add, add to your home decor. What a great gift idea. Especially for the upcoming holidays. How awesome is that? And how long did it take? Not very long. All right, so and there's really not a whole lot of space left to paint on the back, so it wouldn't take much longer to finish that off. But again, I'm just doing this for the purpose of doing the video. I like it, I think it's very pretty. Nice contrast with the orange background. Let me know what you think down below. Do you like this design? Do you think this is a pretty color? And I think I might have gotten my fingers in that. Probably did. I'll just do load it here and do a quick fix. There you go. Easy, easy, easy. Very inexpensive. I know people tend to pick a lot of items up at like Dollar Tree or Family Dollar or whatever you have in your area. I could see this being a perfect gift or maybe added to like a gift basket or some sort. Alright, so hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure again you subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, and one other request because I am trying to grow my channel, please hit the subscribe button that you'll find underneath this video. Share it with your social network as well as your friends and family. I would certainly appreciate the help. Alright, until the next time, stop back, see you then, have a good one.